Here are a couple updates. That's the chimney, the batch, batch bug chimney building a cheap but good chimney. Uh, I've used it. I used it uh, yesterday or two days ago and it was windy. Uh, but I did it because it's not high enough yet. I knew that. And I wanted to see what happened in the wind. And, and there's, there's problems with downdrafts. I'm going to change it. Uh, I'm, and also I'm going to build a, what will look like a scaffold around it. Uh, so, I, but I thought I'd <clears throat> I'd maybe show it to you the way it is now. I'm also going to corbel inward more, and uh, and then at the top maybe do some kind of a maybe you could see it better like this if not against the light, uh, uh, some kind of a chimney cap. But but most of all, I'm going to go higher by that many blocks. Now we're going to go over and look at the uh, sawmill. You may remember this place. Uh, I'm hoping that. You see, today uh, my neighbor Andy's going to come down and use his little backhoe, and I think we're going to be able to sort a lot of this out. Now, now, what you're looking at here are the timbers that I got from that building that the man gave me. Uh, that that you could find in the video, extreme recycling of timber framing, I think, or something like that. Uh, I'll come back to them in <clears throat> in just a moment. But but then now here are the parts to the sawmill. And these I can sort out. I'm, I'm not, well, I'm not actually worried about any of it. But they're heavy, you know. And I, I can't really do it by myself. Uh, I can't, actually. Uh, but with, uh, with a little backhoe, it'll help. Now, let's see, maybe if I walk slow, it won't be too bad. Um, I don't even know, I didn't have a chance to measure this building. And so, uh, I'm going to start by figuring out how big the building was. Now, now those are posts. I guess you can see this. I can't see in the light. So, uh, broken pieces, braces, and those are posts. What I'm standing on, <clears throat> these are the sills. They go at the bottom. And uh, from them, I should be able to tell the dimension of the building. They're broken. Now here's one. Uh, that, that's not a sill. That's a plate. But it's not broken. And so I know from that that the building was 20 foot wide. That I know. What I don't know is how long it was. Another way I can maybe f figure that out, or I know I can, is is the, these are also these are also the plates. You can see where the rafters uh, came down in, and I have all the pieces here. And uh, <clears throat> you know they only ran down two sides, and I'm just going to wait for Andy. So there's two mines working on it, but those will show me the length of the building. Once I know the length of the building. I plan to start laying it off here centered. I'll, I'll lay it off from the center outward. Uh, and the building is not going to be as long as the sawmill itself. Now the sawmill, I haven't actually measured it just yet, but, but I know how long it is, uh, or you know, the track, because, I, because I've laid the track out. Uh, well... <laughs> uh, I got a, a, I have to put that track together with that track. It's quite long, uh, and so it'll extend out from both sides. These 14-inch blocks, I got them for a dollar a piece. They, they were seconds. Nobody wanted 14-inch blocks, and I'll set the timbers on top of that. So this is a before shot, and also the 14-inch blocks. They're going to be uh, resting on uh, on these, which were also a dollar a piece. A lot of stuff to move around. Uh, the carriage, thats thats these are parts of the carriage. That can wait. Uh, that's like part of the sawmill. All right, uh, I think you've seen enough for before. Maybe later today or else tomorrow I'll film it after what it looks like after Andy and I have worked here a while.